Hi guys, so I had this idea to fix uh, an old amplifier that I had um, at home that was not working and I wanted to share with you because I think it can be used in other situations. Uh, it's not really a fix, it's more a trick, but I'll show you how I did it. So I had this very nice old amplifier, it's a Merlot 2025 from the 1970s. Now it has around 50 years uh, and it's very beautiful, it has very nice um, wood enclosure uh, but unfortunately it was not working, it didn't produce any sound. Uh, I tried playing around with it, um, selecting all the different input ports um, and different settings that this amplifier has about the, the sound and clipping of frequencies, uh, stereo, mono, uh, but no matter how I configured uh, this amplifier, it never produced any sound. It, it, it looks like it has something wrong with the, with the amplifier stage. So I decided to open it up, but please be careful before you do it, because these things can be dangerous to work on. This one is pretty easy to open, you just need to remove the four screws on the bottom. Uh, and it just slides after you remove the four screws it just you can slide the um, all the amplifier circuits uh, outside of the wood enclosure I have a basic electronics knowledge so I was trying to figure out what was wrong with the amplifier uh, and I while I was trying to do this uh, I noticed that the power supply was working and it, that it uh, had some uh, DC voltage and very stable at some points around 27 volts DC and that's when I remember to to use a smaller uh, digital amplifier a recent one and just connect it to this uh, stable DC voltage and try to see if it worked I use this XHA105 Bluetooth amplifier that I bought in Amazon. I placed the link in the description because it fits perfectly inside uh, my vintage amplifier and it uh, it was inexpensive. It cost around $16. Of course, that for $16 you cannot expect an amazing sound quality, but it's not so bad. You, I'll uh, make some tests in the end of this video with it. Uh, but if you want something better, you could buy, for example, this Fozy Audio BT20A that I'll also put in the description below. And this one has a much better sound quality. Okay, but for this project, I decided to just use the cheaper option because I just wanted to make this work and uh, have an excuse to have this beautiful amplifier in my living room and producing some sound, but this will be a secondary audio system, so... But I'll leave you with some music from YouTube Audio Library, the best free songs of 2019. Uh, and you can judge for yourself the, the sound quality, you'll see it's not so bad. I really think that for $16 it's pretty amazing and with the added benefit of having Bluetooth connectivity. Uh, but okay, I'll leave you to the music and I'll, I'm planning to post some comparisons between this system and also the other amplifier that I showed you, the Fozy Audio. Uh, so please, if you liked this video, just like it and subscribe for more updates on some tests with this amplifier. Thanks! After the Rain by Rex Lambeau Night Out by Liquid Finally by Locksbeats Lovely by Amin Maxwell. Bad Love.
Love by Noelle. Just Good by Joni Grimes. Last Night by Lionel Cassio. Call Me by Liquid. Need you to say anything by La Gang. Dreamland by Jonas Schmidt. You by lovely funky souls by Amaria Extends. 